Hi, I'm Richard from Frozen Well. Welcome to the second episode of my Mini Mechanics tutorial series that's going to show you how to make various simple platform game mechanics using Construct Free. The starting project and the completed project will be available for download from my itch page. A link is in the description below. The art assets that I'll be using in the tutorial are from a collection called The Platformer in the Forest created by Butch and can be obtained from the Open Game Art website. Again, the link for the assets can be found in the description. So, for the second of these videos, the mini mechanic that I'm going to make is adding the ability for the player to climb ladders. This can be seen in action here. So, first of all, we're going to add the 8 direction behaviour. Uh, this will be used for moving about on the ladder when we're overlapping the ladder. So it's just a case of choosing the 8 direction and then adding that to the player body. Next up, we need to add the controls to control the 8 direction behaviour. So what we'll do is use the keyboard plugin and add the keys for the 4 different directions and for each one we'll simulate the control of the 8 direction behaviour for each of the keys. So we'll just do it first of all for one of them and then once we've got one set up I'll just duplicate that another three times and then we'll go in and edit each one individually so that it shows the correct key and the correct direction that we want to simulate. And there we go, that's now all the keys set up, so when the 8 direction is enabled we can use those keys to control the player. So next what we need to do is uncheck the default controls, because uh, we've defined our own keys, we don't want the default ones, and click the 8 direction behaviour to be disabled to begin with. So next we're going to add in a jump through sprite. This will be used uh, in the platform where the ladder appears through. So the player can climb up the ladder and through onto the platform above. Uh, so add a sprite to the scene. Uh, just reduce the size of that down to 16 by 16 and check the image points in the top left hand corner. Now we'll add that in and give it the jump through behaviour. Now just move that into position and scale that to the size that I want it to be. Then I'll add a sprite solid into the scene uh, and then use that either side of the jump through uh, just to make a solid platform that we can climb up the ladder onto. So next we're going to add a ladder sprite to the scene, uh, so I've got something to climb up. Just fill that in with a blue colour and set the width to 8 pixels and the height by 16. I'm setting the width to 8 uh, because in a moment what I'll do is centre that and increase it back to 16 to fit in with the other tiles. Just keeps the bounding box at the 8 width size saves messing about with individual points of the bounding box. And I'll position this in the scene and there we now have a ladder in the scene ready to climb up. Let's make a start on the ladder behaviours then. First of all I'm going to add a function uh, which will be used to disable the behaviours and stop the player moving when I'm swapping between the platform and the 8 direction behaviours. I'll do this as a function because I'll be calling this uh, 3 or 4 different places in the code so it makes sense just to have one set of code for it as opposed to duplicating. So we'll stop the 8 direction behaviour when we do this 
and set it to disabled. Then next uh, we'll set the vector X and vector Y uh, to zero on the platform behavior and then finally set the platform behavior disabled as well. Just stops everything moving and disables both behaviors ready to restart the ones we want. Okay, so now we've got that function created, what we'll do, we'll start making the behaviours for the overlapping the ladder. We'll add a state instance variable, first of all, to the player body, uh, just so we can keep track of whether the player's in the platform state or the climbing state. Initially, we'll set this to platform. Then next we'll start adding the logic uh, for what happens when the player body overlaps the ladder. So we'll do an is overlapping object and that fits overlapping the sprite ladder. Then we'll also check while it's overlapping uh, we want to check if the keyboard is uh, pressing up. Uh, because that's when we want you to go on the ladder. We don't want you just to be walking past and you to suddenly start climb, going to the climbing state. So we'll just trigger this once while it's true. And first of all, we'll call the function that we created to disable all the player behaviors, seeing as we've got to be stuff swapping between the behaviors. And then what we'll do, uh, we'll set the eight direction behavior enabled. So that will allow us to start climbing. And then we'll set the value of the vari instance variable that we've just added to the player body, we'll set that to climbing. And here we have it running. Player moves over the ladder, presses up, and we're moving. Uh, as you can see, the angle's going a bit funny, so we'll <coughs> amend that now. Uh, if we go into the player body in the 8 direction, we change the directions to 4 directions and set the angle to no, we don't want to be setting the angle. And now when we test it again, the player should now climb up as we expect. And there we have it, the 8 directions enabled but it never gets disabled so that will be the next thing that we do. First off, we'll just tidy up a little bit, just move these events about, just neaten them up, put the functions all at the bottom so they're out of the way. Okay, so getting off the ladder, what we need to do is compare when we're not overlapping the ladder. So we'll choose the overlapping ladder and then we'll invert that to mean that when we're not overlapping the ladder. Then next we'll add a system just trigger once, which will mean it's just triggered the first time that we come off the ladder. And then we'll call our function that resets the behaviours before next setting the platform behaviour enabled again. Then we'll set the value of the behaviour state back to platform. And then we'll test this out to see what functionality we've now got. So as you see, we can get on the ladder, get to the top, and then we're off the ladder. Next problem, we need to get back on the ladder.
So whilst we could get back on a ladder from the bottom, uh, from the top when we're on the platform, we couldn't get back on. So what we need to do is do a collision check when we're overlapping the ladder at an offset of just below the player. And if the down key is pressed while we're overlapping the ladder at this two pixel offset, we'll then again trigger once while true. Then the normal things will call the function to disable the behaviours. We'll set the 8 direction behaviour to be enabled. And we'll set the behaviour state on the player body to climbing. And also what we'll do, uh, just to avoid the behaviour being turned straight back off again, uh, we'll just move the player down by a couple of pixels, which puts them directly on the ladder, so that it registers that they are overlapping the ladder. Found without this, it can have the behaviour of you never being able to get on the ladder, because you get switched back off straight away. So let's test this out. Get on the ladder, get off again at the top, and now we can get back on. So I'll just tidy up the code, just move it so it's all organised. And then we'll just take a look at the project. Uh, if you watch when we walk past the bottom of the ladder, there's a very slight stutter, uh, which needs fixing. To fix the glitch that we're getting when we're going over the ladder, what we need to do is just add a, another condition into the when it's not overlapping the ladder section. We'll just check if the state is climbing. Because what's currently happening, when the player's running on in platform mode, it's just quickly disabling the behaviours and then setting platform again, so we're getting that glitch. So now with that, checking if it's climbing, it'll only get performed if it's climbing and the glitch is now gone. What I'm going to add next is a sprite to trigger when we're getting off the ladder at the bottom. Uh, this will just be positioned at the bottom of the ladder and we'll add some functionality using this to switch back to the platform behaviour when we get to the bottom of the ladder. So just basic sprite, image point at the top left, uh, just fill it with a, a random colour and now I'll position that ready for the logic. Let's get on with the logic then for this ladder bottom trigger. First of all, what we need to do is check that the whether the player is overlapping the ladder bottom trigger at an offset. Uh, we'll do that just by a couple of pixels. reorganize that so it keeps it neat I want to add a trigger once while true because we just want this to happen the once when the, you start overlapping that uh, we'll disable the player behaviors and then we'll set the platform behavior enabled again and we'll set the value of the behaviour string back to platform. Also what we'll do, 
we'll set the position of the player so he's totally on the ground. We'll set it to its own x value using self.x and then we'll set the y position to the y position of the trigger. Which I put the image point for that in the top left corner so the y point's going to be level with the ground. What we also need to do is add a condition to the overlap in the bottom trigger that it only happens when the key S is pressed which is the key for down. We only want this to happen when the player is coming down the ladder. And here uh, is the logic all working in the game now. You can go up and down the ladder, get off at the bottom, go back to the top and move about, get off. So it's all pretty much complete now. Next what I'll do, I'm um, going to make the level just look a little bit better. We'll go to the tile map and um, we'll add some tiles for the ladders and the platform uh, to make them look more visually appealing than yellow, purple and blue boxes. So see I'm starting the ladder and then I'll add some sprites for the platform. This is the way that I like to make the platform games that I do. I tend to set out the structure of the level using the solid jump through blocks, uh, just yellow, like in this case and purple. Uh, that gives a structure of the level and then I purely use the tile map just to visually make it look appealing. You can add the solid behaviours and things to the tile maps but I just find that it's easier doing it this way for myself. And what we'll do now, just go through all the various level structure blocks that I was talking about and just set them to all be initially invisible so that when we run the game they aren't shown. And here we see that in action. Place there, the sprites are in and you can, well, I've not turned off one there but one of the yellow blocks is still visible but we'll get that removed. The final thing that we now need to do is just get the player playing the correct animations when they're on the ladder. Uh, so what we'll do, we'll compare the instance variable and check whether they're climbing. Then what we'll do, we'll add a condition to check uh, if the 8 direction behaviour is moving. If it is, we'll set the animation for the climbing to play in, which is anim climb. And then next we'll add an else. And if it isn't moving, then we'll just stop the animation. And here now we have the final finished version of the ladder behavior. The player moves up, the animation plays. Uh, you can get on and off the ladder. And um, when you stop on the ladder, the animation stops playing. So that's it all done for this tutorial, thanks for watching and there'll be some more platformer mini mechanic tutorials coming up shortly. If anybody has any ideas for any platformer mechanics they'd like to see a tutorial for just leave a note in the comments. Thanks for watching.